are some questions that you would like to ask this patient with shortness of breath? Started about two weeks ago. But he said, ever had this before? Any pain? Any cough? So key finding, cough. You started asking questions for your HPI. Now, you know, let's go back a little bit. What are some conditions that you're all thinking of? COPD, pneumonia, lung cancer, TB, asthma, pneumonia, endo, pericarditis. So this, this is how I approach a case. You, you start really, really big. In my mind, I categorize different causes of shortness of breath. And then I, I start asking questions. I look at the vital signs, you know, her vital signs. I believe she was just a little bit tachypnic. And it started two weeks ago. This, so this is not a really acute event. And you can start reordering your differential in your mind. Now, as I go through my history, I might not ask as many questions about PE and MI because it went down on my list. I'm still going to keep them in the back of my mind because they're life-threatening. Let's just fast forward a little bit. There is a cough. Is it productive? Mostly blood. What causes homoptosis? TB, tracheitis, lung cancer. To be honest, you know, you're still in the data gathering phase. And it's really good now to just, let's just progress through our usual HPI. Because if you don't ask all the questions, you might miss something. Anything make it better or worse? It's a night with activity when I take deep breaths because of the chest pain. See, I just, I just thought I was going through my OPQRST, old CARTS mnemonic, came on alleviating and aggravating factors. And right there, I got something that's very important for this case. The chest pain is pleuritic in nature. Do you smoke? Any smoking history? Any weight loss? 11 questions out of 40, and you got all these pertinent things. Yes, you're going to probably do a comprehensive exam, but what are some big things you want to do on this physical exam? Auscultating, tactile, fremitus, uh, any adventitious sounds, percuss the lungs, uh, inspect the chest. Decrease breath sounds on the lower half of the right posterior lung field. There is a rub. Percussion notes dullness. There is decreased tactile fremitus on the right. There is some agophony above the area of breath sounds. No other adventitious sounds. Is finding lymphadenopathy and the characteristics of it might lead us to malignancy. This patient has non-mobile, non-tender lymphadenopathy. That is malignancy until proven otherwise. Edema on physical trace peripheral edema on cardiac exam. Well, that might be important. That might change our differential. Can we do a full cardiac? No murmurs, gallops, no JVD. We already found. I, as I say to my students, cardio poem on everyone.